Great news for all web developers out there, nesting is now native in CSS. To understand why this is so important, let's talk about the problem with code repetition we have in CSS. If we want to select a child element of this section, we need to repeat that selector. Now the more we go further down the DOM tree, the more selectors we need to repeat. What we could do to avoid this would be to be less specific. But the problem here is that we're going to start having conflicts with the selectors. So this is no option. Now in the past, most web developers relied on frameworks like SAS or LESS where nesting was allowed. So in this example, inside the newsletter, we could add the form add all the styles to the form right here and the same thing for the input which can be placed inside the form this is what we call nesting so now we have a much more readable and maintainable code and now you don't have to rely on any external framework because this functionality became native in CSS one thing to keep in mind though is the compatibility. If we go to caniuse.com and we search for CSS nesting, we can see that right now in March 2024, CSS nesting is available only in 83% of all users. So I would still hold on for a few months before introducing it in production. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that since December 2023, this feature works across the latest devices and major browser versions. This means that in a short period of time, this is going to be close to 100, and then we will finally be able to use it in any project. So I'm super excited about this because nesting was always one of the most important features on SAS for me. So knowing that I can do this with CSS natively is something very exciting. So very good to see these kinds of updates. So that was all for today. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the web schools to see more videos like this. So I'll see you next time.